Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Adam here, aka Wes Kelton, how's everyone doing today? And uh, today guys got another episode of IWC's Ultimate Teams And today guys we got a silver championship team, so let's show you what we got I've been doing a lot of silver teams recently, I'll just see do I have a medical card for this guy in my club But yeah anyway guys, I've been doing, um, I did my Irish silver team last week And yeah they're just like, so I just fancy doing a silver championship team I did actually build this on my stream, so um, if you were in my live stream, if you don't know, I do stream quite a bit, usually on a Friday, Saturday, um, and the link is for that is below. But anyway, guys, I built this on the stream. You guys told me what players got, and I have to say it's an absolutely beast team. Played in the four four one one because it's a formation you suggested, so you could get players like Hoosklep in, Hoos in this team. So guys, in goals. Uh, you guys suggested Loach, and again, guys, 2,000 coins for silver players, absolutely dog dirt cheap. I'm not gonna lie, and he has quite good reflexes and diving, which, in my opinion, are always the best stats. You'll hear me say this time and time again for defenders, really, or for goalkeeper, even for best stats. Left back, we have Higginbottom from uh, Norwich. He is a bit slow, but his defending starts quite well, which is why I got that. And as I always say, if you don't have a bit of pace, and you have, but you have good defending stats, they can always compensate. Um, people were saying, I can't remember if it was another card people were suggesting, but uh, this is, they were the ones, um, the two centre backs were uh, Ridgewell and Curtis Davis, both uh, from Birmingham, and both really, really good players, um, especially Ridgewell, I thought Ridgewell, like both of them have a decent bit of pace, but like Ridgewell in particular, like look at that 85 heading for a silver, is an absolute, like, absolute, like, amazing stat, he's like, Amazing player. Curtis Davis is quite cheap. I think Ridgewell was a bit more expensive. Just because I was getting information, he's, I think he goes for a bit cheaper than that. Right back, we have, I think it's Nathan Klein, Nathaniel Klein, and 2700, and he has his three star skills. I really do enjoy him. 85 pace. He's just, I love having a bit of pace on defenders. Right mid, we have Emnez from Middlesbrough. He's 85 pace, and don't let that shooting stat deceive you guys. He's an absolute beast of a shot. He uh, is also 4 star skills and again 4,500. You're probably paying for a bit of the skills anyway. Um, centre mid we got Ego Falcoe I think. I think he is the one that's playing for Tottenham now. I think he either went from Southampton to Tottenham or vice versa. I'm not really sure maybe someone in the description could tell me. Again 4 star skiller, 79 pace and 81 dribble and uh, yeah just a real tank. Beside him, Keith Fahey. I actually had Fahey from my Irish server squad, so I just added him to the team because I was quite low on money when I was actually building the squad, so that's why I um, put Keith Fahey in there. Left mid, and Keith Fahey is actually quite decent. Left mid, we have Bose Jour, I think is how you pronounce it. Again, another Birmingham player, um, 83 pace and 5 five star, 4 star skills. He's an absolute tank. You'll see a few nice goals from him from in the goals in the description or after this. But by far my favourite player of the team was Hoosklep, 88 pace, 4 star skills, I think KSI did a beast video on him, 7000 coins, he is an absolute tank, it is fucking unbelievable how quick he is, it's it's ridiculous, not quick but like just how amazing he is, um, up front we have King, he is a Man United player on loan, from, on loan to Hull City, Joshua King, 15,000 was quite expensive, I think you're mainly paying for that 91 pace, um, to be honest guys, I thought King was a good player, pace-wise. I really don't like people unless on strikers that have less than uh, like four-star skills. So he wasn't my favorite. There's a couple of different options that I could have gone for. I, uh, I can't remember. There was a few suggestions at the time, but I just went for King. So guys, um, anyway, that is the team. I'll go on and show you more of the goals. Say more about the team. Okay, guys, on to the goals. Actually, before I say about the goals, I'm sorry I haven't really had videos this week. I think I've only had one or two, maybe. It's because my brother has been down from back home uh, so I was just showing around Dublin kind of messing around with him so I haven't really had time for videos but um, hopefully this will make it up to you and also I'll be streaming later on so make sure to tune out if you don't know I actually stream every Friday and Saturday so just tune in to my stream link is always in the description and yeah just tune in to that so on to the team team absolutely beastly team it's got some really nice goals and they're really really cheap to be honest overall you can get them really quite cheap I think King was only the kind of expensive player I wouldn't really pay for him again 
mainly because of light zoom skills and whatnot, but he's not really much of a skiller, to be honest. I don't know how that was given as his own goal, I really don't know how that was probably heading in. I don't know, it should have been King's goal. But, um, yeah, overall, just a really, really good team to play with. Also, quick question why do they do that heel chop like that? Heel to heel, the way King does it. Anyone with, um, below 4 star does it, and it's really shivering compared to the. Two st to f to compared to the 4 star, 5 star version and um, yeah it's just really shit here's quite a nice run from Equal. I don't even know how to pronounce his name just really bad pronunciations especially for names that aren't English but um, yeah really really beastly player this guy is and he's quite a nice little shot on him as that proves probably keeper maybe could have done a bit better but um, at the end of the day can't really complain this goal actually uploaded to YouTube absolutely tank of a goal and is just mess around the skills, roulette, advanced rainbow flick, and then we get a scorpion kick from King Beast. That was pretty nice. If that if anything if that doesn't start of like I don't know what does guys. Um yeah, so it's come come towards the end of the video. Um I've been building all these squads on streams so I'm probably gonna do another str uh, stream squad at the weekend because I have only one team left um that I haven't done a review on so if you want to have some input on my next video, leave them in the comments and tune into my video at the weekend because I'll be building squads there, like I said. So, yeah, that should be good crack because I don't know. I want to build some more silver squads and stuff. I'm getting kind of. and oh, I need a squad with some skillers in it. I don't like squads that don't have skillers in it. But, uh, yeah, like I said, so make sure to tune in them. Um, also, I don't know if there's anything else I want to tell you about. I'll probably be doing a video on Fever Street and why it's shit at the weekend as well. So look out for that one as well. Because I just... You may have noticed, I don't really think Fever Street was getting a lot of love. So I just kind of dumped the series. But, uh, yeah, no one's really seemed that upset about it. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed the videos. Anyway, guys, as always, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll chat to you later. Peace.